Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Sunday Mass. Today we are celebrating Easter Sunday. Our main celebrant is Father Andrew. Our entrance hymn is Jesus Christ is Risen Today, number 172 in our hymnal. Jesus Christ is risen today, hallelujah, on my own holy day, hallelujah, who lives upon the cross, hallelujah, Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit 
be with you all. And with your spirit. The Lord is truly risen. Alleluia. To him be glory and power for all the ages of eternity. Alleluia. 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 Happy Easter, everyone. Same to you, Father. Do you feel that this is Easter in your heart? Yes. Do you feel that something is different? We, we are not just remembering that mystery. We are celebrating that mystery. You know what it means? We are making it present. Yes, through the liturgy. Liturgy is the key to, to enter that mystery. The mystery of the resurrection. Or I should say, passion and the resurrection. I want to offer this Mass uh, this morning for all our parishioners, but especially for those of you who support our parish uh, throughout the whole year, for our benefactors. We have many different kinds uh, of benefactors. Yesterday the Mass, last night the Mass was celebrated for, for the whole parish, but today especially for those who make special sacrifice, extra sacrifice, supporting us, our parish, our church, all the works that we do, uh, we, in this way, I want to say thank you and I want to express my gratitude. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. You are 
Let us pray. O God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter addressed Cornelius and his household. You must have heard about the recent happenings in Judea, about Jesus of Nazareth and how he began in Galilee after John had been preaching baptism. God had anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power. And because God was with him, Jesus went about doing good and curing all who had fallen into the power of the devil. Now I and those with me can witness to everything he did throughout the countryside of Judea and in Jerusalem itself. And also to the fact that they killed him by hanging him on a tree. Yet three days afterwards, God raised him to life and allowed him to be seen, not by the whole people, but only by certain witnesses God had chosen beforehand. Now, we are those witnesses. We have eaten and drunk with him after his resurrection from the dead, and he has ordered us to proclaim this to his people and tell them that God has appointed him to judge everyone, alive or dead. It is to him that all the prophets bear this witness, that all who believe in Jesus will have their sins forgiven through his name. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Since you have been brought back to true life with Christ, you must look for the things that are in heaven where Christ is sitting at God's right hand. Let your thoughts be on heavenly things, not on the things that are on the earth, because you have died, and now the life you have is hidden with Christ in God. But when Christ is revealed, and he is your life, you too will be revealed in all your glory with him. The word of the Lord. Christians, to the Pascal victim offer sacrifice and praise. The sheep are ransomed by the lamb, and Christ, the undefiled, hath sinners to his father re reconciled. Death with life contended, combat strangely ended. Life's own champion, slain, yet lives to reign. Tell us, Mary, say what thou didst see upon the way. The tomb the living did enclose. I saw Christ's glory as he rose. The angels there attesting, shrouded with grave clothes resting. Christ, my hope has risen. He goes before you into Galilee. That Christ is truly risen from the dead we know. Victorious King, thy mercy show. Christ, our Passover has been sacrificed. Let us celebrate the feast then in the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. It was very early on the first day of the week, and still dark, when Mary of Magdala came to the tomb. She saw that the stone had been moved away from the tomb and came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved. They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, she said, and we don't know where they have put him. So Peter set out with the other disciple to go to the tomb. They ran together, but the other disciple, running faster than Peter, reach the tomb first. He bent down and saw the linen cloths lying on the ground, but he did not go in. Simon Peter, who was following now, came up, went into the, right into the tomb, saw the linen cloths on the ground, and also saw the cloth that had been over his head. This was not with the other linen cloths, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, also went in. He saw and he believed. Till this moment, they had failed to understand the teaching of Scripture, that he must rise from the dead. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
I would like to start with the message of our bishop, Bishop Neil, the message for Easter, a short one. Dear brothers and sisters, it may sound a bit paradoxical that the empty tomb that Mary Magdalene found on Easter morning is full of hope for us all. But we know that in its emptiness lies the generous offer of eternal life with God for each one of us. That is why our joyful Easter anthem is always Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. We have every reason to place our hope in our Lord Jesus Christ, who submitted to all that he did just for love of us who opened the pathway to heaven and who accompanies us daily with his mercy and his grace. We should indeed journey through life as pilgrims of hope, which is the theme of the 2025 Jubilee year proclaimed by Pope Francis. A Jubilee is a special holy year of grace and pilgrimage in our church. It usually takes place once every 25 years, but the Pope can call for extraordinary jubilee years more often, such as in the case of the year of mercy. In preparation for the 2025th jubilee, Pope Francis has asked us to intensify our prayer I am therefore pleased to offer you the Easter gift. Now I would like my altar servers to help me with this Easter gift uh, from Bishop. Um, there is a book, a very nice book, one book for a family. Okay? If we have more, we can give you more at the end of Mass. But for now, it is just one book per family. So please take one and share with your family. Okay? Read one by one. It's about the Eucharist. Easter gift, a book entitled Beautiful Eucharist, which I hope will help you to encounter Jesus in new and deeper ways, Bishop Neil continues. Written by Matthew Kelly, it is a collection of life-changing reflections about Jesus truly present in the Eucharist and wonderfully present in our lives. It is an ideal companion as we intensify our prayer this year as a diocese in response to the call by Pope Francis. I wish to thank a few people who helped make it possible for me to distribute this book. Rosalind Jackson, Erica Luke, Managing Director of Eric Hassel Shipping, who coordinated the process, and Seaboard for organizing the transportation and donating the shipping cost. We have three books left. Would, would anybody like to, to share? Yes, we have here. And, and in here. I will have for you, for the choir. Okay. There's still one left. You want one? Yeah? In here. Yeah. We have distributed quite a lot last night and yeah. Happy reading, uh, uh, finishes Bishop Neil. Happy reading, brothers and sisters, and a blessed Easter to you and your family. May we together encounter the risen Lord in the Eucharist, and may he reign in our hearts. Well, that was the message of Bishop Neil, and allow me to share with you just one thought as my reflection. Are you afraid of death when you think about it, if you think about it sometimes? Because it's not an easy thought, right? Are you afraid of death? I would say, of course we all are, we all are. 
All of us. Because we don't know what it is, how it goes. We don't know the process, right? We see it, but it's a different story to see it and to be there uh, ourselves. Are you afraid of the cross in your life that may challenge you one day? That you may have to embrace? Are you afraid of suffering? Are you afraid of pain? Sicknesses? Are you afraid of all those things? Well, there is no resurrection without death. There is no Easter Sunday without Good Friday. There is no resurrection without cross. There is no resurrection without the sacrifice. We can see that in Jesus, and this is what we are celebrating. Basically, what I'm trying to tell you, all those things that we are afraid of in our life really lead us somewhere else. If we believe, if we have faith, there is no resurrection. If you don't die before, how can you rise from the dead? If you don't die. And I do believe in our life it goes the same way. Are you expecting resurrection in your life? And the fruit of the resurrection? Try to look at, at the cross. Try to look at the sacrifice we have to make in our life. Try to look at pain and the sicknesses as well, because they are a part of our crosses and our, uh, our suffering. From a different perspective, even if we don't understand them, like nobody understood what, happened, what was happening to Jesus, they lead us to something more beautiful, something new, something different. There is no resurrection without death. And this is what we are celebrating today. The victory over death and the resurrection. Amen.
Please stand and we will now renew our baptismal promises. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask of you, do you renounce Satan so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. Do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? And do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? I do. Now, do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do, I do believe. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do believe. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Let your living water over us flow. Let your Holy Spirit come and take control. Every situation that I shall present to God our intentions and petitions, celebrating with joy the day of Easter, the day of the resurrection. As we joyfully celebrate the resurrection of Christ, 
Let us remember the true meaning of this great feast day. The response to each bidding prayer is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Easter is love. It is the reassurance that God loves us through his risen son, with love that survives even death itself. May we spread this love wherever we go. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Easter is light. May each of us carry the light of Easter in our homes, our communities, and the wider world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayers. prayers. Easter is hope. Our hope is in the risen Christ. May we recognize that he is with us in all our daily tasks. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Easter is commitment. As we renew our baptismal promises, we pray to the Lord that he gives us the grace to strengthen our commitment to him and to the faith we profess. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Easter is the gift of life. In rising from the dead, Jesus has given us life. We pray that in our country and throughout the world, God's gift of life be treasured by all and that all human life be respected and protected. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Easter is joy. Through his resurrection, Jesus fills us with joy and confidence in his promise of life everlasting. Let us share this joy with family, friends, and all in our community and congregation today, and to whom we wish the happiness of Easter. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Easter is peace. We pray that the peace of the risen Christ heal the wounds of violence, terrorism, injustices, and may peace and justice flourish in our world, in our homes, and in our hearts. And at this time, we pray particularly for all those hot, hot trouble spots, like in the Holy Land and the Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. And Easter is redemption. We pray that all our departed brothers and sisters, all who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, may enter eternal life as one for us by Christ on the cross at Calvary. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. At this time of joy and celebration, we also remember those who mourn, and particularly those who have lost their loved one during this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for our benefactors, those who continue to give generously to building the kingdom of God. We ask that God continue to sustain them and that they may understand the true meaning of the risen Christ as they continue to open their hearts to do as God has asked them to do. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. I ask you now to bow your heads and remember in silence your own personal intentions, the intentions that ask you to remember the risen Christ and remember those who have also asked you to pray for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And we ask Mary, our mother, to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Please be seated. Our offer to him is, take my life, Lord.
Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full.
Blessed is He, O God, in the name of the Lord. Blessed is He, O God, in the name of the Lord, our God. Hosanna, in the heart. created rightly gives you praise for through your son our Lord Jesus Christ by the power and working of the Holy Spirit you give life to all things and and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the Sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many <clears throat> for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim 
by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God. With blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Neil, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing. grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the power and the glory. Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worried that, that you should enter, enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed.
Our communion hymn is, Oh Yes, Lord Jesus Lives, number 269 in our hymnal.
Second communion him, the Lord is my shepherd, he lives.
Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Please be seated just for a brief moment. Just a reminder, tomorrow, um, Easter Monday, and also a bank holiday in Barbados, so our Mass will be at 8 a.m., and after Mass, what are we doing? What, what? We are partying, beach party tomorrow, Brighton Beach, starting from 10, for our parishioners and and for guests, for friends, uh, yes, we are celebrating Easter in a way and a birthday in, in another way. So please remember that. Bring your, your swimsuits and whatever you want to use for swimming. And there will be, as you know, lunch. And there will be some drinks, some music, some karaoke. I don't even know what else. <laughs> yes, just make yourself ready. The, uh, the location was sent to you. I hope you all get, uh, got the location. It was sent to you by email a few days ago. And also it was sent in our WhatsApp uh, group, parish group. So if you are looking for the location, just click on that link and, it, uh, and then start on the Google map and it will take you directly to the beach house where you will be, beach site. I want to say thank you today for, for the last week, last holy week. I want to say thank you to you who are here in the church this morning. And also the, I thank those who were celebrating with, with the parish with us last night. Thank you for Holy Thursday and everything what happened, all the people who were involved in the Holy Thursday liturgy. Thank you for Good Friday, for the Stations of the Cross, the Way of the Cross in the neighborhood for organizing it, for printing what had to be printed, for the track with the speakers and the microphones. Thank you for the, I would like to say thank you to the choir who was helping us with songs. And then we had Good Friday. It was a, a beautiful liturgy again. I want to say thank you as always to the altar servers, especially those who are here every day and they didn't miss a day. Uh, to the cantors last night, we had seven reading, uh, readings and seven psalms. And thank you for the readers, commentators. Uh, I want to say thank you to Neil for singing Exalted with us last night. I want to say thank you to the band, to the technical crew who streamed our mass. Uh, for the monitors yesterday, today, for, uh, for the whole last week. I just want to say thank you to everyone who was involved in planning, preparing, organizing, executing our celebration. But in a special way, I want to say thank you to Patricia for making our church beautiful once again. Look, look at the church around, at the decorations. Yes. Thank you for your time, for your effort, for, for living in the church and for making everything beautiful. You know, last night, I don't know, you may, you may want to do that after this Mass. Last night, people really enjoyed the, the decorations and they put a chair by those, those flowers and they were taking pictures, like, I'm serious. And it lasted for a long time, right? So, yes, so you can do that as well. It's, it's a beautiful church. You know, in our little parish community, we had a, a wonderful celebration of the Holy Week. And I want to say thank you to absolutely everyone who was involved, and to you, to our parishioners and friends. Before the final blessing, do we have any visitors with us today? Who is for the first time? First time? Oh, we have more. Uh, okay, so, so where are you from? Kent, England. Welcome. Who else do we have? We have more. Barbados, okay, not far away. Who else? I saw another hand. Where are you from? England? New York. Welcome. Do we have a song for them?
we normally have a song for our visitors. One heart, let's get together and feel alright. One heart, one heart, give thanks and praise to the Lord, and I will feel alright. Get together and feel alright. Welcome. And come back. And don't be surprised with the song, it's a baptized Bob Marley. <laughs> Let me bless you all at the end of our Mass. Ah, birthdays. Anybody celebrating birthday? Well, thank you for reminding me. Come forward. Come, come. Happy birthday, happy birthday, and may God bless you. Happy birthday, one more time. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, and may God bless you. Happy Happy birthday to all of you. Some yesterday, some today, and two on Thursday. Any anniversary? Who is celebrating an anniversary? No? Okay. Now, let me bless you at the end of our Mass. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down your heads for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. And may he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten Endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exalting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ending. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Our recessional hymn is Easter Song, number 71 in our hymnal. Alleluia, sing alleluia, the Lord is risen, is risen indeed, alleluia, 
Sing hallelujah, the Lord is risen, he is risen indeed, hallelujah. My Lord, he came with my morning, with the splendor of the sun. The Lord triumph from the wood, from the darkness of the tomb, he drew hallelujah. Hallelujah, the Lord is risen, He is risen indeed, hallelujah. Sing hallelujah, the Lord is risen, He is risen indeed, hallelujah. My Lord, we light our mountain with the everlasting hills. Now the seasons and the seas. Sing his songs of victory from the hills. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, sing hallelujah, the Lord is risen, he is risen indeed, hallelujah.
Love you. Happy Easter. Have a good Easter. Happy Easter too. Okay. Okay. Hope you have no tea. Why not have a wedding? If you want, are you trying to get to the money? No, you still have to buy number two. Why is it not happening? I realize. This one is, I tear this one a lot right now.